SpaceX Starship is a behemoth. Standing at a whopping 120 meters tall and weighing 50 tons, if all goes as planned, the Starship's structural design will allow transporting up to 100 passengers in every voyage, with eventual plans to carry up to 200 people. That's astounding, especially given that a capacity of 200 people is enormous when it comes to space flights. The space shuttle could typically transport up to 5 to 7 crew members when it was in service. While Starship is not yet in its final shape, it is around the same size as it will be when completed. But what does SpaceX intend to do with all that space? Of course, there are many projects that require even more space, such as the Louvoir telescope. But what about people? What can Starship carry for the 100 to 200 passengers that SpaceX will undoubtedly transport on board? Let's find out. According to the user guide, the company has designed two major configurations one for cargo, capable of lifting more than 100 tons to the Moon and Mars, and another for transporting up to 100 people. According to the description of the latter configuration, these folks will not be compelled to live in cramped quarters. The crew configuration includes private cabins, large common areas, centralized storage, solar storm shelters, and a viewing gallery. Consider the difference between carrying 100 people aboard a spaceship where everything is designed for humans and storing commercial things in half the capacity. But while many adjustments are predicted in this conceptual design, they will not affect the described infrastructure, which begins with the private cabins. Eric Berger, senior space editor at Ars Technica, wrote on the SpaceX subreddit that cabins may provide unexpected levels of comfort. He claimed that he saw numerous detailed designs last summer, and the cabins were roomier than he'd anticipated. Berger also stated that the corporation had, in fact, examined plans that had not yet been seen by the public. Because the ship has the potential to usher in a new era of spaceflight, it's perhaps reassuring that the flights will be comfortable. Elon Musk estimated that the fully reusable Starship might fly for as little as $2 million, which is only four times the cost of flying a Boeing 737, dramatically extending spaceflight to additional industries. With its low cost and great capacity, Starship will not only alter the space sector, but will also have an impact on our transportation networks. Rick Tumlinson, the founder of Venture Capital Space Fund, previously told Inverse that the Starship might be classified as a Mayflower-class spacecraft due to its potential to transport up to 100 people into space at once. SpaceX has already provided details about how the crew configuration would operate. According to Musk, the pressurized cabin size would be roughly 1,000 cubic meters. That's more than the capacity of an Airbus A380, which can seat between 400 and 600 passengers. Musk has proposed that each cabin could easily house two or three people while taking up less space than an Earth-based room, since guests would be able to use all sides of the room in zero gravity. Starship would use just 465 to 700 cubic meters of its payload volume, so that's 42 to 64 percent of just Starship's pressurized payload volume. That leaves 36 to 58 percent of the remaining volume for open areas, extra shelters, restrooms, storage, life support, and other uses. When it comes to cabin space, there is a lot that isn't often taken into account, and they are surely included. Bathrooms are unquestionably necessary. If you're going to stay in space for several weeks, you're not going to wait until you land to use the toilet. So we don't know if there are public restrooms and halls or private room bathrooms. We do know, however, that they would all have to be interconnected and flow to waste management and water reclamation facilities, where water could be filtered and reused, and waste could be disposed of. Musk would also have to incorporate enough food in the Starship storage. Aside from the living quarters, SpaceX is looking at providing entertainment in the communal spaces, which may be necessary during the three to six month voyages to Mars. One concept illustration given by Musk depicts zero gravity concertos, Musk tweeted that the Starship will be able to accommodate such arrangements. There will be a common area in the forward section with a big window like this. It will be a lot heavier than steel, but not dangerous. Consider astronauts on the moon with a very thin windowed helmet. They were fine. Japanese millionaire Yusaka Maizawa, who has planned to travel around the moon with six to eight artists on board the Starship in 2023, might be among the first to use this facility. As for other arrangements, SpaceX may have already sketched out another possible application. 
During Musk's initial presentation of the BFR in September 2017, he claimed the ship could support point-to-point -point travels around the Earth in less than an hour. Each ship would have a capacity of roughly 1,000 passengers, and it would not be beautiful. Probably needs a restraint mechanism like Disney's Space Mountain roller coaster, Musk warned on Twitter. Would feel similar to Space Mountain in a lot of ways, but you'd exit on another continent. When everything is said and done, a vacation to Mars may be the most luxurious choice. Let us know in the comments what feature you'd like to see during your journey on Starship. Thanks for watching.